is Kim Speedick with 10 Sigma, where we provide special educators with the tools and resources to guide students to a successful transition to adult life. If you're like most transition educators, it's challenging to find meaningful, age-appropriate transition assessments that are easy to send to the IEP team and use the results to identify meaningful transition goals without wasting a ton of time on paperwork. In this episode, I've interviewed a transition coordinator who has found an easy way to deal with this challenge. Enjoy the interview and the special bonus I will share at the end. So today we are going to do an interview with Lauren, and she is a transition coordinator from Illinois, and she's been using our transition assessment surveys for a couple of years. So I have a few questions I'm going to ask Lauren, and I'm going to let her answer them. What 10 Sigma product and materials are you using? So right now we are currently using the TRAX transition surveys online, um, and we started using that in the 2017-18 school year, and prior to that we had used the paper surveys. But I like the online version much better. Why do you like the online version much better? Well, I was able to customize the survey, um, so I pulled some of your questions from a couple different surveys to create one that we're using specifically for our school that I felt like really matched um, well with our population who we serve. Okay, great. So who are you using this materials with? Just the specific disability areas. Okay, all of our students at our school have a primary diagnosis of autism in their IEPs, and um, all of our transition age students who I'm using, using the surveys with also have intellectual disability, um, ranging from mild to severe. And then some students may have other secondary diagnoses like OHI, like if they have seizures, or they may have ADHD as well. And so how do you use these materials, or once you get the results back, Okay, I use the track survey as a transition assessment. So typically the classroom special education teacher, the related service provider, so our SLP, uh, OT, and social worker, and then me as the transition specialist will complete the surveys. Um, I send out the email link and we all do it online in preparation for IEP planning meetings. So when we have an upcoming IEP that we're planning for for a student. And then I will um, print out the compiled results and in our meeting we'll talk about those results along with other assessments and along with the parent and student input. And we use that to develop the annual IEP goals and the transition plan for the student. Great. So what benefits have you seen from using these materials? I like to be able to see what areas are identified as high priorities by multiple team members. And then those are the things that we really try to target when we're developing goals and writing the transition plan. And then the highest and lowest rated areas overall, I can pull those up in the report. And that's useful for um, developing a picture of the student's strengths and needs when it comes to transition. And then I'm the person who sends out the surveys for people to complete, and then I'm also responsible for compiling the results. So I really love the ease of being able to do that on, online. But I previously used the paper surveys, and then that was like a lot of printing them and tracking them down, and so the online system works really well. Um, and if people have forgotten to complete it, it's easy for me to send a reminder email to them, and then I can pull up results, and it has already averaged the ratings for me. It's already um, counted up how many people have put something as a priority, and then previously I was doing all that by hand, so that's why I really like the online system. I also like that we were able to customize the survey so that it meets the specific needs of our student population. And that's been useful identifying the areas that are important for our students. So do you feel the benefits that you just described have saved you time as far as figuring out what the student's primary needs are for transition at this specific time? Yeah, I think it saves time because it's one assessment that um, addresses a variety of transition skill areas that we've identified are important for our students. And then the ease of being able to do it 
on the computer and have it pull up the results for me and generate the report for me. That definitely saves me time. And um, if we didn't have this tool, we would probably be, you know, I might be interviewing teachers or we would probably be having a conversation around, you know, students' strengths and needs, which we still do to some extent, but this just kind of helps us organize our ideas and we've got all those skill areas there and it's really useful to help pinpoint the things that we want to work on with our students. Well, thank you. This has been very helpful, and um, I can see how the uh, survey assessments have, have been helping you for your transition age students. Thank you. Thank you for listening to this interview, and be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel to receive our future episodes. Be sure to leave a comment or suggestion below, and if you'd like to try our functional transition assessments with your students, please visit transitionsurveys.org and sign up for a free 14-day trial. Have a great week and see you next Tuesday.